everybody, I'm back with another badass video for you today. Once again, I thank you for support. Always make sure we're clicking, we're subscribing, we're engaging, we're doing what we do. Make sure we get that taken care of right away and make sure you get over to the merch store before I get too involved with what's gonna be talking about today because this is gonna blow you away. All right, here we go, we're gonna have a team talk today. You know what we're gonna talk about, Jordan? We're talking about electronics. So this video is brought to you by Vizio. Vizio sent me my new 72 inch monitors for my bass boat. I'm gonna have four of them up front. I'll be able to use them as a dock also when I get done. I can flip them outside the boat. I can use them for landing purposes. If I wanna step outside the boat, I can flip my 72 inch Vizio outside the boat and use it for an extension of my deck. All the whole time while my trolling motor is still spot locking and seeing the fish. So what I'm at right now is I'm bullshit you guys right now. So no, that's not what it's about. This is about electronics. So this is about what everybody's talking about on the internet. We had videos sent to us. We watched them. We did some stuff. Um, this is out of control. It's out of control. Uh, 50K, 50K in electronics, $50,000 in electronics. You can buy a pickup truck for $50,000. You can buy a sports car for $50,000. Um, and you're probably gonna get some money back out of it. I, and I think these, some of these guys are I think some of these guys are using their own money. They're paying for this because I think they have multiple brands. They're not just, your, Garmin's not going to be happy sitting next to Lawrence. Lawrence ain't going to want Hummingbird on top. No, it ain't going to happen. Um, there's videos out here that I'm looking at right here. Um, I think Chris Zaldin did a really good video. It was a really good video about all this electronics. Props to him for that. Um, it was a really, you, you should go look at it. Jordan's going to tell me what it is. Maybe we'll just drop a link to it somewhere. <coughs> There'll be a link up here. Go ahead and just take, just click on it and just watch it. You'll be blown away. Um, it, it is out of control. It really is. It really is. Um, the one guy's got four at the council and three up front. I think it looks like all at least 12, maybe a 15 or maybe three 15 stacked up front. Um, crazy, crazy, crazy electronics. Multiple pan optics. What do you got? Pictures down here. Right here? Yep. It's right over here right now? Yeah. We pulled screen grabs from it. We got screen grabs for everything. That's what we do. There's yep. screen grabs for everything. It's right over here. So there's going to be screen grabs. You can go click on it. Um, there's, yeah, like this one here I'm looking at. That's probably here right now, too. You'll be able to see that. That's screenshot 20, it says on it. Um, four stacked. Holy sh. I was, I remember when I was happy with the LMS 7 or whatever the hell that was, an eco map or fuck, I think I got one in there still. Does anybody know what a paper graph is on here, you think? A paper graph, a flasher? No? Some do. They do? Okay. Um, but it, it, um, it is definitely taking over. I mean, like right here, I'm looking at, looks like Solix, it looks like Garmin's next to Hummingbirds possibly. Um, obviously the problem is that I don't think anybody can be happy with their branding anymore. You know what I mean? They can't be happy with just running Lowrance because Lowrance has this that's good, but they're not good at this where Garmin's good at this, but they're not, you know what I mean? So I really think it's a, it's a, one of those deals. I think we talked about it in another video where there literally needs to be Vizio and, and there is that company, there's companies out there that are just making monitors, correct? That are integrating into your units or integrating into your sonar or something like that um these guys go as far as click to the next one jordan like that right there um utilizing multiples on forward facing um and then they got 360 on top of that so i mean you're looking at garmin right here and hummingbird hanging out together all in the same process and then um Go to the next one, next one, there you go. Then you got multiples there, you got three. Um, and they're using saltwater ones too, for better picture quality and they shoot further. Is that correct? Is that what I'm understanding from these videos I'm watching? There's some saltwater stuff going on in these. Uh, it looks like that top one's a saltwater one probably, a little bit bigger maybe. Um, but there is a lot of shit going on right now in the electronic world. It is the probably the hottest thing in fishing. It's even more popular than fishing because it's trickling into Crappie fishermen, everyday fishermen, ice fishermen, women, men, women. I can't just say men anymore because it's women also. Um, but they're they're it, it's blue. They're using them for bluegills. I mean, I know guys last year that were using it for blue, betting bluegills and just having a great time with it. It's literally bigger than bass fishing. It's saltwater fishing. It's it's everything, and, it, and it's crazy. Um, like we said in one of our other videos, when's it going to end or how far is it going to go or are they going to outlaw it? Those are huge questions. Those are giant, giant, giant questions. And as they increase the quality of these trolling motors and they increase um, turrets and they increase all of that, 
um, and, and the stuff, yeah, <laughs> there we go. With the, hit the brakes on your power poles, um, that stuff. I mean, have you ever watched anybody use that thing? It is crazy how, what those guys can do with that stuff. Uh, and it, it's just never ending. It, it literally is never, never ending. Um, I thought it was over a long time ago, but it just continues to amaze me on what the quality of these things are. And the picture quality is insane. Voltage is a big thing, uh, you know that. If you don't know that, you you need to really look into this before you just start dropping thousands of dollars on what you what you want. You know what I mean? There's certain things that do things. There, there's certain brands that do things better. Um, and if Jackson was up here, he'd be able to lay it out a little bit better for you on what brands, picture-wise, do better things. Um, I know he's running multiples on his multiple brands because he's in the same boat where. Somebody else is doing something that the picture's better, so you get to see better. Um, but it, uh, it it is out of control. It is literally out of control. When you have four, seven, seven units, eight units in your fucking boat, eight units in your boat, holy cow. You got 50, you got more, you got more invested in your electronics than you do your outboard. That is insane, insane, insane. Um, It's it's overwhelming. Yeah, beat down mount. I get a. Uh, I mean, look at that. That is crazy. That is really really crazy. What's going on there? Yeah, that's a Japanese guy, right? Yeah, that one's pretty cool. That's a 22 inch monitor up top, right? 22 inches of fun. Um, I think Spider's got one of them too. Seth's got one of them. Seth does a really nice video on it. If you wanted to check out his with his blazer, um, but this. Yeah. Oh, and then the multiple transducers in the back of the boat that are coming off the jack plate now or off of a bracket that this way, this way. F you can see. This is insane, people. Like, I mean, what? Does anybody know what those are? Anybody know what those are? I do, because I used to use them. That's the whole, that's the find your fish spot. You just throw that out. You catch one and you're, in, you're out in the nothing around you before GPS. You'd take that, undo that lead, chuck it over, bloop, 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 so you knew where to put the boat. Um, here we use a lot of pop cans. We would just tie a string and then thunk, Mountain Dew can upside down. Doing this stuff, roll up in the morning, make the cast for the Mountain Dew can. Yeah, I'm not bullshitting you, that's what we used to do here. We didn't use them because people knew what those were. I mean, you see a Mountain Dew can upside down, you just think it's trash, right? Until it got figured out that every time you come up to a spot that's got a can that's not moving far, upside down, you should cast there. And those went away. Um, it, it, it is pretty crazy. I can only makes a good point there. I think that's what he asked. He asked if anybody knows what these are. Um, that's pretty crazy. And I bet you there's kids out there that do not know what those are. They don't know what those are. They probably think they're for docking or something. Um, it's crazy that he still has them in his boat. <laughs> but at the end of the day, um, at the end of the day, you you um, you end up. What happens if your GPS goes away? You might as well throw one of them out. Go old school, right? Uh, the link to that video is up here. It's exposing the most expensive electronics setup in pro fishing. So I think we started talking about this, and that's kind of where we're going with this video. If you're putting 50K on your boat, and you're putting all of the stuff that we, you know, the boat that we built, the best, best boat, biggest boat we ever built was 130, was it? 140 plus 50. So, I mean, obviously we're going to lose some, but you're going to add 30 to that. I asked before and it's here, a $200,000 boat is here. It's literally here. Um, you can get a $200,000 bass boat if you really want to spend that kind of money. That's it, I mean, that's insane. That is really insane. Um, this this is uh, something everybody should go look at. They should go research, click the links, do what you gotta do. Um, comment on this if you're seeing some of this stuff where you're at. Um, in batteries, you guys, did none of, that stuff's not run off of your cranking battery anymore, people. There's a lot that goes into these boats. There's a lot to keep these things running. Um, there's a lot of jump charges. There's on the run charges. There's, well, it, it is crazy what is going into these boats. Um, they are getting to the point where they're, I think, who put that, who put that post up? Was that Bob's Marine that had that picture of all those? And they, they like screenshot and they moved them around. It was like the whole deck was covered with them. It was awesome. It was an awesome post. Um, but as far as I know, I think the one that somebody's got the most is eight, isn't it? Eight graphs or seven graphs or something? Seven for sure. Seven for sure. And it was like 50K, right? Yeah. 
Jesus. Balls. We did one here that had five, and this was a V bottom with a 60 horse Yamaha on the back. Had five with uh, Mega Live and had uh, 360 also. And it had transducers in the back, twins in the back, one in the front. And this was just a little V bottom. That was in one boat. We had to double stack lithiums to keep everything running. Um, filters, it was crazy. It was crazy what this guy did. Um, and that was just in a little V bottom. So you can do the math on what he's got going on there. Uh, lithium switches, wires, clean power, four graphs, five graphs, plus 360, plus fucking live, plus, yeah, it just, the list was like that. Um, it, it's insane. It's really insane. 50 grand is not hard, not hard to get to, especially depending on what you want. Um, if you comment on this, I want you to comment on your preference of what you like, um, and comment if you've seen it, been around it, or you own it. We'd love to see it. We'd love to talk to people about it. Um, open up the can here, get some get some conversation going about uh, what you think is the end all. When's it going to end? Or what's it going to be about? Or is it really about catching bass anymore? Or is it just about being a tech freak? If you take it away from some of these kids, would they still catch fish? Would they be as good as they are? I'd put my money on like uh, Skeet Recycling Alley, Kevin Van Dam, something like that, if we take electronics away. You know, and but it, they're not going to, so it's not even it's not even a it's not even a subject really. What I just said is really not even a subject. It's literally the opposite. It's how fast you can catch up to those kids, right? Those kids are going to dominate it. They're going to dominate it for a while. Um, and I say kids because it's kids. It's 19, 20, 18 year old kids, 17 high schoolers that are 14, 15 are ridiculously good at it, um, and they're only going to get better. So as the older class of the fishermen try to catch up they're already years behind by the time this kid's doing what he's doing it's, it's crazy um what a what a way to start or start a weekend by talking about fifty thousand dollars in electronics when some people can't even afford a ten thousand dollar car that is insane to me that is literally freaking insane um but like i said we got to we got to talk about this we got to open this thing up a little bit more and that's the reason why i'm doing it a lot of people did a lot of good videos on it. There's a lot of that stuff out there. Go check all those videos out also. Uh, make sure you comment here on this video. You can drop a link if you find another video. Put it down in the comments. Make sure everybody's watching this stuff because we want we want to know what you guys think. We want to know what's going on. We want to know what you're seeing all around the country. Um, we're seeing it here for sure. You know, it's definitely here. We're definitely, I think we've got one with six on it besides that little V bottom. So um, we did twin, we did triple 15s three years ago four years ago probably and I thought that was crazy um, uh, but it's it's insane the world is the two hundred thousand dollar bass boat is here and the, the 30 40 50 the hundred thousand dollar fishing rig your hundred thousand dollar low or your Alumacraft or V bottom is probably not far away it really isn't that was like a 250 on the back with you know or even a 200 it's not far away it, it's it's creeping up there and I think as as we creep up there, they got to literally people got to understand who you're blaming. You're blaming the electronics company. That shit's outdated. That shit's gonna be outdated by the end of the year. And you're just gonna get an update, and you're gonna. I mean, Jesus, boss, that's crazy. That's crazy. Um, that's it. That's all I got, Jordan. You want me to talk about anything else? I got one thing. I'm listening. My biggest takeaway from that video is every one of those pros says something on the lines of we have to do it we have to have all this stuff why wish we didn't but we have to why to Good compete question. yeah to compete because it's the new era they're not making casts when they're pro when they're pre-fishing they're showing up they're looking at it they can tell how big the fish are they don't got to make a cast they're, they're catching what i call quote unquote i don't know if i should say it but virgin fish um they've never been caught they're fish they're catching fish that are um, probably never seen a bait during that time of the year because they're able to go hound them. When I say hound them, they're like a hound dog. They're finding them. They're, they're li literally seeing the, the wad that's never been caught and they're they're catching them. And when they catch one, it's super easy to catch the whole bunch. And that's why these their weights are going up because you're catching fish that don't get caught. They've never been caught at that time of the year because they get to a certain age. They're like a big buck, man. Uh, nature's that way. It just happens. They just go away. They go away and that's how they get big. And they settle into doing things differently. And we're gonna, so you're gonna start catching those fish, and that's what they're doing. They're catching those fish. Um, so yeah, they do have to do it. Otherwise, they're not gonna be able to compete. You're gonna get blown away. You're gonna be, you're gonna be in the top 50 one or two times on accident. Otherwise, 
You got, you've got to do it. And, that, and I, I guess that's why, I, I'm guessing that's why they probably said it. They have to to try to keep up. If they don't, they're forcing themselves. Like their off season training is learning that. If you, if you had a pond and you knew where the structure was, that's what you go do. You put that on your flat boat and you just dissect it. Literally look at it, know what fish are on there and catch them and watch it happen. That's just how it works. Go ahead. We gotta move both, so hold up. And cut. So essentially the only the only playing field of the field that I think is probably even now is when the temperature gets warm and these fish get shallow. Because anybody can catch those fish. You know what I mean? Um, the deep fish is is a unfair game and it's it's a game that's gonna be played and it's gonna be battled with those type of fishermen. And props to them for doing it, and props to them for getting really good at it. Um, but I think as temperatures rise, you're going to see more competitive weights. The beginning of the year is going to be some blowouts, you know what I mean, end of the year. As fish migrate and do what they do, they come out of wintering, they're deeper, they're able to be caught now, they're able to be seen. Um, there's stuff here that, you know, we, we've always wondered what happens to them, to them big smallmouth, uh, you know, during the middle of the year, because everybody's green fishing, where do them big smallmouth go? And, and that's going to be caught. I mean, those fish are going to get caught now. They're going to start to get caught as these people get better. They're able just to literally drive around and look and go, oh, what's that little deal there? And they look and they find it. And once they find it in one area and they're doing, they figure out the current, they figure out the flow, they figure out temperatures, they figure out moon phases, they figure out sun, they figure out everything to do with it. And they figure out these fish are here, then they can go replicate that. And that's all done through sonar. It's not done through dragging a Carolina rig or a football head or anything like that anymore. It's literally done through sonar. You don't even got to drop a cast on them. You can just watch them work. You know, you can watch them feed. You can watch them, you can see what they're feeding on. They're feeding on shad, they're feeding off the bottom, they're eating crayfish, they're eating um, dead shad. What are they eating? You know what I mean? Um, there's always been that time of the year up here when, you know, mayflies hatch early spring, you get runoff, you get mass runoff. I was always a firm believer in mass runoff, put like worms and that type of stuff into the rivers. That's why there would be some of those feeder creeks where you could literally catch a bunch of fish because they're just sitting there eating what's coming off the hills. Um, it's just easy pickings for them. You get all that stuff and then now they're actually able to dissect that. They're able to see it, watch it on TV, just like we go home at night, put our feet up and watch TV. These guys that are really good at it are doing it literally in depth. Um, I think it'd be good to get Mike back here, bring him and do something like that and have him talk about it, see what he's seeing out on tour also. And maybe even getting like uh, Nick Trim, some of the local guys here, maybe having a little round meeting because those guys are around it every day you know what I mean get some of those um, guys that are around here that are doing it every day and have them talk about it I think it'd be a really good round table for these guys to listen to because those are river rats those are guys that are you know they're out there all the time you know some of the best guys up in this area get them get them together I think that'd be a good video for these guys to you know they could they can speak their mind on what they're seeing and how they're doing it and what they're doing um, and just, just give it to these guys that give it to our fan base I think that'd be pretty cool because a lot of people I like to come up here and go fishing and you know they have an idea also they could break that stuff down to um, what they're using them all for. But I mean, you're literally, you're literally powering everything through seven, eight units now. It's crazy. It's crazy. I don't think the one screen's big enough. I think they just gotta have multiples for multiple things that are going on at all times because they're just seeing the world underneath them. And like we said, with, the, with everything that's coming, it's, it's gonna get crazy. Fucking insane. But that's what I got for you. Anything else, Jordan? Cool, that's what I got. No new merch. Everything's good. I hope everybody's having a great week. Um, that's it. We're done. We're out of here. Anything, George? You got nothing for me, do you? Nope. Kind of quiet today. You all right? Yeah. Good. You're breathing. That's good. Yep. That's awesome. That's really good. As always, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell to witness the madness. I hope everybody that's running seven, eight units on their boat is soon to say, speed, money, no brakes. I'm out. See you.